All right, all right, all right. So we are back. Welcome back to another episode of Clark's Garage. Um, so I got my uh, the flange nuts for the the studs for the turbo manifold, and right now we're gonna go work on uh, something else. We're gonna go do. We're gonna go and replace the the hard clutch line or the hybrid clutch line with a. Uh, let me turn this back around real quick. We're gonna go replace it with a stainless steel, well maybe not stainless steel, but steel braided clutch line that I ordered from Concept Z Performance. This is actually the um, Technofit auto to standard um, clutch line. My car used to be an automatic. My bad. My car used to be automatic. Um, so that's why I'm able to run this uh, clutch line. It's pretty cool. So. We're gonna go ahead and get to the install, and um, I guess here's the time lapse. later all right all right all right here we go again um a couple days later but it's all right it's whatever um finally daylight finally get a chance to work on the car um hit a little a little another roadblock so i know we're supposed to use ot sensors but i haven't ran one and the oil or o2 plug bun plug isn't here so I might have to go buy an O2 sensor, I don't know yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together now that I have everything, except for that. So, um, what else do we got? And hopefully we can get pretty far because it's crunch time. So I got the tow main mount, uh, elbow one to my little Gary T25 turbo, my little swirly boy. I got my tow main exhaust manifold on, all mounted, torqued. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the O2 sensor. I really wanna just find a bung and just cap it off, but um, we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna need to do that before I install everything because there's no room to get in there yeah there's no room to get in there if I try to slap it in but uh, we'll see what's gonna happen so I also ordered a couple ISR couplers from Concept Z Performance I'm going to be replacing this because I did re uh, change out my um, hot pipe for ISR hot pipe with the ready flange on it. So there's my blow valve. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pause a little bit on the exhaust manifold turbo. And I'm going to try to put the, all the belts back, put the power steering back, hose back, that bracket. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead that up. So I'm basically trying to concentrate on this side of the engine. Uh, I had to cut it short not too long ago. I had to do some stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's actually a couple days later already. But um, so I'm gonna go. Um, so you can see my power steering hose has been jacked up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this part, this hose, and um, route it from my power steering pump to, from the reservoir to the pump. Um, going to go ahead and finish mounting the brake lines, which I haven't done yet, or not mounting, but securing it. I'm gonna try to secure the uh, clutch line too, and then hopefully we can get the um, the um, turbo manifold and elbow in and then that, then we'll be done on this side that's what I'm hoping for and then um, I need to start working on the intake manifold start clearing out the stuff um, but that'll probably be in the next episode alright so let's go ahead and get it because I'm running out of time Sweaty boys back on. He just finished bolting down the bolts for the exhaust manifold. Need to go under and see where my oil return is at, where the line's at. Uh, and go ahead and set that, fix that reroute or something. But um, it's on. And yeah, it looks pretty dang, pretty damn nice. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish finish doing what I need to do and then um, then yeah all right so I don't know if you remember my oil return line so the nice time um, racing oil return line was a little bit long for where my placement on my oil pan the bung on my oil pan was so I actually had to cut it so good thing they it did, um, when they did, uh, I guess, make the line, came with the ones where the fittings where you can actually cut and then readjust. And good thing I knew how to do that from this one because this one I actually put together myself. I didn't want to reuse this one because of these, these portions here. It makes the um, oil return line a little bit less flexible than like this one, for example. So I did cut it. I cut it a pretty good amount. A little sad about it, but... I didn't feel it was either that or take out my oil pan, find another oil pan and put the uh, the new weld on bun uh, onto the oil pan. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I don't wanna, I don't know where I can find another oil pan. So here it is, it's pretty close to length, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> go ahead and reinstall this, the new, uh, the nice time racing uh, oil return line. And hopefully I can finish because I didn't even, as you can see, I didn't even finish uh, tightening the bolt or the nuts down for the exhaust manifold because I want to see if the oil ret or return line would fit. So here we go. A few moments later. All right, all right, all right. Oh, what a freaking headache. So, because the tow main manifold kind of sits a little bit lower, it kind of made my turbo go a little bit lower and I actually had to cut oil feed line oil return line multiple times for it to to reach where the bung placement is on my oil pan so finally got it finally got the size right after like three or four cuts but it's there it's mounted turbo is on manifold is on the oil lines are on everything on this side is on so um I was hoping to put all the intake piping, intercooler piping on already to reach the intercooler on this side and I don't have to touch this side anymore. But because I had to, wasn't expecting that my oil return line to be too long. But it's okay, it's a lot more closer than where I've been in the last three weeks uh, dealing with depression and, and other things and yeah. So, um, I'm gonna start cleaning up the intake manifold. I get to move it up on another table, so it's a lot closer, meaning that we're getting 
we're another step closer to finishing um but yeah that's 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 about it for now so um if you want one of these shirts i don't know if this video is going to be out before the actual giveaway happens or what but go ahead, visit my uh, instagram page and you can see the rules for the giveaway um you know the deal like comment subscribe be safe wear your mask wash your hands and i'll see you next time oh, somebody